News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new updates to the Swiper.js slideshow widget found at MuseForYouShop.com. So I'm really excited to go over these updates uh, because now with the latest version of the Swiper.js slideshow, you can open links in the Lightbox widget. Uh, so it makes for a really interesting and interactive slideshow where you can go through the slides and when the user clicks on the slide, it can open the light box. So I have an example site here and I can go through the images. I have a few images here and I applied a duotone to them with uh, the shapefactory.co website. And if I click on it, we can see it opens the light box. Awesome. All right, looks good. And I also have a duotone image here in the background for the light box. I can go through and click on any of the images and it opens a video. All right, so it's a really interesting effect and it can make for a really great way for users to kind of receive content on your website. So if you have like an album, for instance, or any type of video, you can have the image in the slideshow, then the user can click and watch a video about that particular um, image. All right, looks good. So I'll quickly showcase uh, the new updates. Um, I'll go ahead and showcase where to access the widget. Uh, so to access the widget, you can simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. And if I scroll down here to the swiper.js slideshow, uh, it's right down here. Here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. So I'll go ahead and read the change log. Here are the features included. Um, so we have the change log. It's now swiper.js slideshow widget 1.3. So the new updates um, added the option to open the links with the lightbox widget. There's the ability to set more than one main dynamic dot in the pagination section. And I'll go over that as well in this tutorial. Uh, there's performance improvements and there's updated code within the widget. And if you do, if you do not need to open the links with the lightbox widget, simply replace the add first widget to apply the update. Uh, so those are the updates there for uh, the swiper.js slideshow. I'll go ahead and go to Adobe Muse. Here I have the site. So we just have a few widgets here. We have the slideshow, uh, we have the add first and the light box add first. So if I preview, that's the website I just showed with the images. And when you click, it opens the light box. All right, so I'll quickly recreate the site. I'll go to file, new site, and I'll click on OK and I'll double click on the home page. So the first thing I wanna do here, um, I'll start with swiper.js slideshow. We'll just uh, build all the images and then we'll add the light box at the end. So here I'm gonna to go to the library panel here to the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. All right, so I'll open up the library panel and here I'll type in swiper.js. So here are the three widgets included. We have the add first widget, we have the swiper.js slideshow and the swiper.js slideshow full screen. So if you wanted the image to cover the entire browser, you'd use full screen. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna use that cover flow effect and not cover the entire browser. Uh, so I'd, I'd be using this widget here, the swiper.js slideshow. Uh, but first we wanna add the add first. So I'll go ahead and click on it, click hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse, and I can place it right up here at the top of the page. So here it's off the page and at the top. And then I'll bring in the swiper.js slideshow widget. So here I'll click, hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse, and there we have it. So here we have the slideshow and I do want it to span across the entire page. So I'll select the widget and in the resize option, I'll click the drop down and say stretch to browser width. So it spans the entire width of the browser. All right, so there I have it and I'll just play with the widget options. I'm not gonna place it at the very top because I'm gonna add some padding at the top so that cover flow effect shows the entire image. Uh, and that'll become a bit more clear as I go through the tutorial. All right, so I'll open the widget options by clicking this arrow here. Okay, so here we have the widget options and I'll just do that one more time. And one thing I added here in the reference, it says uh, to open the link within a light box, add the light box, add first widget to the top of the page. So that's just a quick reference uh, as you're using the widget. If you did 
want the links to open in the lightbox, you do have to add the lightbox add first widget at the at the top of the page. I'm gonna place it right here below uh, this add first. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to that in a second. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'll, I'll actually showcase this. If we go to the images section here in the widget options, I'll click the drop down, and now we have this new option here that says open link with lightbox. All right, so I'll be checking this to open with a lightbox, um, but I'll go through the steps in sequence so we can kind of make sure we have all the options correct here. So the first thing I wanna do is go to slides. For the number of slides, I'm gonna have six slides. All right, um, slides per view, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna center the slide, so I want centered slides. Okay, initial slide zero, that's fine. Uh, I do want to enable link right down here to make sure I can click on the images within the slideshow. All right, and that's all I wanna do there. Uh, you can work with these different options. I do have another video tutorial that goes over all the widget options, but I'm just gonna quickly go over the options that I'm using here for this particular slideshow. All right, so I'm gonna open up the images, images section and I'll close, close the slides section. So for these images, I wanna say scale to fit, so the entire image fits within the slideshow. Uh, scale to fit would stretch the image and make it larger or have it fill um, the slideshow, but I do want the entire image visible, so I'll say scale to fit. And then I'll add six uh, images. So I'll click add file right here, add file. And I have a few images that uh, I saved from uh, the shape, the duotone.shapefactory.co website. I do have a quick tip on that and I'll leave a link in the show more section below. So I'm just gonna add these images. So I'm gonna add image one, image two, image three, and I'll repeat that again. So, so I'll have six images. Okay, looks good. And so I'll go ahead and preview. We'll, we'll see how that looks. Go to file preview page and browser. And we just have the slideshow. We see it doesn't span across the entire width of the browser. And that's because we have it set to scale to fit. Um, if I were to say scale to fill in the images, I'll say scale to fill. And it'll fill the entire uh, width of the page. All right, it's not gonna look great because these images are smaller than the width of the page, but just to give you an example of scale to fit versus scale to fill, uh, similar to how it works within Adobe Muse when filling in rectangles. Um, so here I'll just set it back to scale to fit so that entire image fits within the slideshow. All right, so we've added the images. Um, one thing I didn't do in the slides section, I didn't say slides per view. Um, I want three slides visible uh, per view. So now we'll have three slides instead of just one. So there we have three visible at a time. All right, so I'll keep it moving. Um, I'll go to the next, the next options. So I wanna go to pagination. I don't want dots at the moment. I don't want any pagination, so I'm gonna say none. If you notice, we had those dynamic dots at the bottom. Um, I don't want that at the moment. And I'll go over the new update to this as well. Uh, here you can set the main dynamic dots meaning you can have more than one large dot in the center. You can have like two or three um, large, do large dots in the center. And I'll showcase this a bit more uh, in a second. All right, so we have the pagination. Now let's go to effects. I want that nice cover flow effect that kind of in older iTunes, uh, the, the older iTunes had this interesting effect, which uh, the cover flow is kind of similar to that effect. So here in the effects section, I'll say cover flow. And I don't want any slide shadows for the cover flow. So here I'm in the cover flow section. So I'll just uncheck slide, sh slide shadows. And let's see how that looks. So I'll preview in the browser. And there we have that nice cover flow effect. So if you notice the top and the bottom get cut off, um, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna add some padding. So I'll go back into the widget options. I'll click on effects. And here we have padding top and padding bottom. So I'll say 40 for the top and 40 for the bottom. Okay, so now if I preview again, uh, we have the full image visible. We have this nice cover flow effect for the images. Um, so that's it for setting up the slideshow. So now let's add the lightbox widget. So I'm gonna go to the library panel here to the right, and I'm gonna type in the lightbox. So this was recently updated as well. It's now the Lightbox widget 1.3, and I'm gonna bring in the Lightbox add first. If you did want a gradient, you'd bring in the Lightbox add first with gradient. So here I'll click hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse, and I'll place it below the swiper.js add first 
here at the top. So here I'll open the widget options. I'm gonna add an image for um, the Lightbox background. So here for Lightbox background image, I'll click add file. And I have an image here that I'll add. Okay, so just like that, we've added the Lightbox widget. So now let's link the images to the Lightbox or add links to the images. So I'll open up the swiper.js slideshow widget. And rem remember in the slide section, uh, we set it to enable link. So you can click on the image and it will go to that link. So in the images section, if I open up the images section, we have this option here that says link. So this is where I want to enter the YouTube link. Um, you could add a Vimeo link as well. And I actually have a link here, which is the YouTube link to the to quick tip number 25 that goes over uh, the shapefactory.co website, the pigment.shapefactory.co. Um, so I'll go back into the widget, go to the images uh, section, and in the link section, just paste that link in there, that YouTube link. So you could go to YouTube and just go to any video, just copy that link. Uh, obviously, you want to make sure that you can have it on your website, but you can just copy the YouTube link and paste here in the link section. And just like that, I've added the link. And this is where I want to click on open link with Lightbox. You can open link in a new page or open link with Lightbox. So here I'll click here just to make sure it opens in the Lightbox. And I'll just paste it for the six images, the same link, um, just to showcase it and make sure open link with Lightbox is checked for all six images. Okay, and that's it. So now I'll go to file, preview page and browser and I'll go through the slideshow. I can click on any image and it opens the video in a light box. Looks good. Um, had I not checked off open link with light box, um, here I'll go to images. If I didn't have that checked, we'll see what happens. So again, I click and it goes to YouTube rather than the light box. So here I'll just make sure the light box is checked. So go to images and open link with Lightbox. All right, looks good. So I'll preview and I click and it opens with the Lightbox. So let's say I didn't have this Lightbox at first added. If I were to delete this, we're gonna notice that it goes uh, to YouTube again as well. So I click and it goes to YouTube. Um, I could have it open in a new page as well. So that's the other option. So you can say open link in new page and it would open the video in a new page. All right, so I click and it opens in a new page. All right, but I do want it to open with the light box, so I'll re add the light box add first widget. So the light box, and I'll bring in the add first, and I'll add an image. If no image is added, it'll use the, the background color here, um, but I like adding an image. Okay, and I also want to make sure open with light box is checked, open link with light box. And I can uncheck open link in new page since we're not opening in a new page. And I'll preview and I'll click and there we go. Uh, so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over that update. Um, it is a really useful uh, function. So again, you want to make sure the lightbox at first is added. Uh, we have the swiper.js at first at the top here as well. It works really well with the swiper.js slideshow full screen. So if you did want a full screen slideshow, you could have that as well and link that to a lightbox. Uh, as well. So the last thing I'll go over is the main dynamic dots uh, that has been updated as well. So here I'll go to the pagination and I'll set it here back to dots. And now we have this main dynamic dots option here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that looks. Uh, so we have this dot navigation here. And if I click, we notice we have one large dot here and the other dots are a bit smaller. So these are the dynamic dots. We have this large dot here in the center. Um, if I had, if I wanted more than one large dot, I could go back into the widget options and in the pagination for main dynamic dots, I could say something like three. And we'd have three large dots instead of one. So I'll go ahead and preview. And now we can see we have three large dots in the center. So we can see we have those three large dots in the center there. All right, so that's just an option if you wanted to kind of customize how the dynamic dots look. You could set more than one large or one main dynamic dot there. All right, and all the colors are customizable for the dots, the shape, and the size as well. All right, looks good. So that's it for the dynamic dots. So that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, again, to get access to the swiper.js slideshow widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. 
you gotta type in meesreshop.com. And here you can click subscribe, su subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. And the swiper.js slideshow is right down here. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. Here are the features, features included, a few of the widget options, uh, the change log. Uh, here's the video on all the widget options within the swiper.js slideshow and the community section if you had any questions about the widget. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to meesforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.